one year later. We've experienced a tremendous amount of pain, all of us. With heavy hearts and in black and blue, dozens come out to remember officers Montrell Jackson, Matthew Gerald, and Deputy Brad Garofola. Well, after a year's time, you know, time heals all wounds, but uh, this is a large wound to heal. July 17, 2016, Gavin Long ambushes officers. He had traveled to Baton Rouge from Missouri in wake of the Alton Sterling shooting. Investigators say Long's goal was to kill police. They're all special young men. They're heroes. That's what we call them, our heroes. Deputy Brad Garofola's mother says his children called him Superman. And I'm extremely proud of him. I'll miss him forever. So it's just a heartache that it will take time to heal. Brandy Melissa was a high school classmate and a close friend to Officer Montrell Jackson. We sat in English class, in math class, in science class, in social studies, in high school. And I want to thank everybody for being out here, for supporting his family and others, and to keep their families and their friends in the community in prayer. And Officer Matthew Gerald, he didn't know at the time, but his wife was about to have another child when he never got to meet. It was about a, a month, maybe a month and a half after that uh, we all found out that, you know, she was pregnant and, you know, what a gift from God that has been. Truly unreal. Gerald lived to the age of 41. Jackson was 32 and Garofola was 45. When I grew up, it was love and peace. Now everybody's shooting everybody for nothing, for nothing. They're killing people for nothing. Makes no sense. Somebody needs to look at their heart and look at their souls. 